Good morning, Woodchucks. As you can see, it is a beautiful day out here in Pine Grove. I think that's what it is, Pine Grove. Standing on the balcony of our bedroom, just looking on down at the lovely little fish down there. They're normal fish, and I guess I just jumped off two-story building, uh, no problem. Not what I wanted to do, but uh, here we are. So yesterday in game, it did rain, and I tried to open up. Well, I didn't try. I did open up the windows on the greenhouses, and I lost some plots because, well, as you know, sometimes when you pick up a plot and you try to open up a window, yeah, it removes a plot as well. Um, whatever. Uh, but I got free water out of it. Did I need the free water? Not so much. I probably just went in there and turned on the, um, the sprinklers and been done with it. Anyways, I've been going around a little bit. Just, uh, I did find another treasure chest. So that's on the map. Uh, let's go to the kitchen. Herbal potions. Let's start with that. How much herbal shampoo can I make today? Uh, looks like seven of that, which is, I guess, okay. Back in the day, that would have been fantastic, but now it's like, yeah, that's fine. And skin lotion, how much more of that? Can I, I can make five of those. And then we'll go and see what I can make for some, some food here. Let's go to cookbooks. Uh, Lowlander style mushroom soup, as we know, is always a good winner for us. 66 of those. Yeah, I need to go up and see Jack because I've been, as I've been finding the, the chest now, I've been like, why don't I just grab this stuff? I wasn't grabbing it before. It's like, you should be grabbing that stuff. And everything else, I'll just hold off. What am I not? Oh, I'm out of mushrooms. Out of the shrooms. So, yeah, I've been starting to gather some of the stuff when I find the treasure chest. Like I said, uh, the map I am, uh, I've kind of created. It's a work in progress. And you can find it in the Discord channel where it says, well, Lumberjack's Dynasty treasure chest map. I am very hungry, and uh, I always am, and I don't think I really care. Although I got tons of food on me, you know, we'll have something that way it doesn't bother you guys too much. Uh, we'll have some of the, uh, let's have some of this dried meat. Uh, I've been finding a lot of that in the treasure chest. I think I've actually only opened up like three of the tier two treasure chests, and probably one of the tier ones. The tier ones, I look at them like, ah, stop my, because I don't think they have the lotion and stuff in it. Hello there. Welcome to my store. Yeah, uh, hello, Jack. How you doing? Uh, so what do you have so in your store? What do you have in your store? Because the tier twos have the uh, the tools in them. Um. So yeah, right here, I kind of forgot. See, there's a little two in this corner. I have two of these. So if I sell one of those for four hundred sixteen. That's good. Uh, I got two of the fishing poles. Uh, 288 will sell one of those. And... Okay, we're good there. Uh, if we go to the food, yep, we're going ahead and sell these. That's uh, 22.17 for that. $1,000 for these owl potions, which owl potions improve your vision at night. Uh, you know, maybe I should try one of those to see what happens. Fox potion, we, as we know what it does. Um, so I got $800 worth there. Uh, the pike I'm going to keep, uh, what are these? Uh, sun potion. No more hunger, nor need for sleep. Well, yeah, I'm always hungry, but we're going to go ahead and sell those. Just because, just because. We got the food, so why not? So that brings our money up just a little bit. Well, I shouldn't say a little bit. Uh, pretty decently there. Up to 64000 So I've been working on the plank, or the crates down at the mill. Can I jump into... Okay, that'll work. That should work. Let's go over here. Um, they've been out for like a day or two. These were out in the rain yesterday, and they still dried uh, a little bit. So you can see 96%, 93%. I think it's going to be like 3% per day, or maybe 4% per day is that what they're drying at. And here are all the spruce crates that we got out. I do have seven chipboards. I am going to keep those... I'm not going to sell these for a while. Because uh, as we can see, you can turn wood chips into chipboards. These will appear here. They can also be sold or used for further processing. I'm going to hang on to them until uh, this gets full over here. And as we know, I think I can store pretty close to 100. What? Uh, these are at 45%. So another five days or whatever. And um, the furniture workshop will be busy making those puffy chairs. Uh, where can I see? There we go. So as we can see, we're down to 47, 48 pine spruce. And we got up to, uh, to 20, uh, low 20s on the oak and the birch. But we're going to improve on that. We are going to go and improve on that. As a matter of fact, I already got the Cobra already parked over there. And where are we going, you might ask? Well, right down here in the southeast corner. Let's hop into the Cobra quickly, and then we can jump right back out. 
So obviously what I was looking for were birch and oak trees. And yeah, there are plenty of birch and oak trees down here. Let's whip out the old chainsaw. Where's the property line we're looking for? Yeah, watch out for the red marks with the chainsaw. So yeah, we come onto this property as 0 0.07 hectares. It says seven birch, five oak, seven pine. A total of 19 trees. I kind of walked around on this property and I don't see no pine trees. It looks like they're all oak and birch trees. Which is kind of what we're looking for, and we're looking for something really cheap. And this is really cheap, 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 cheap. Uh, sound like a little chickadee. Cheap, 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 cheap. But yeah, a lot of, if you're looking for oak and birch trees, there uh, uh, these couple lots right here that we're down next to, uh, these three lot, well, these two lots over here are mostly oak trees. I didn't see many birch trees, at least for me, anyways. So let's go hit the old enter a button. And yeah, we're going to pay the full price, $3,680 for this property right here. And you know what? Do I feel a little spicy today? Sure, on a Monday? Why not? Yeah, I'm recording this on a Monday, so I just gave that away. So yeah, you can see it says 6 birch, 1 oak, 10 pine, and 3 spruce trees. Now, yeah, there, there are a couple spruce trees. That's I think that's a spruce tree. That might be tall enough for it to be, to be a spruce tree. But they're mostly oak and birch trees on here. Yeah, there are some. But you know what? Now we got two pieces of property down here. 19 trees. We'll start on this first piece of property right here. Get these uh, birch and oak ones down just because uh, hopefully we can get enough crates in there. And eventually, maybe next time we go fill up the dryer, we'll be able to have some oak and birch trees. I'm wondering, because I don't think this tree is on the property. Does it give me the option to cut down? I mean, is that really on the property? Where is a property boundary marker? No, see, now, so you gotta be careful that well, about being in a tree harvester. See, that tree is not in the property, but I can cut it down. I need to come up to here, at least. Up to the top of the hill. Interesting, so I may, I don't, I forgot how much the fine was. I did it, I did it a long time ago uh, as a test. I think it was like, maybe, Twelve, thirteen hundred dollars fine or something like that for cutting down the wrong tree. Nope, cut down the oak. Yep, nope, went past it. And as we know, the trees always go to the left. As the Lorax would say, which way does the tree fall? The way it leans. Uh, but in uh, Lumberjack Science D, well, they always seem to go to the left. Yeah, so I can I can move the okay I guess I can move it up like that and uh, no nope, that's for the camera all right so that's right to left so you can move it right to uh, pivot it right to left and you can go forward and backward but you cannot go up and down with it so hopefully I stay on my boundary so yeah using the engineering button while you're in the tree harvester I hope they add that at some point because I cannot see the tree, uh, yeah, the tree boundary, but the the property boundary. So I really don't know. I've hit the engineering button, as you can see, because it says how much fuel I got in this thing, which is 96. But I cannot see the property boundary. So you know what? If I go along and I cut down the tree that I'm not supposed to, we'll see how much the fine is. And it's not that big of a deal because, as we all know, once you own the furniture factory, it's like having a key to a gold mine. Basically, that's that's all it is. So I really haven't had much time to go around looking for, for any more treasure map, uh, treasure map, tre treasure chest. Uh, the one I found just happened to be on a route I was taking for doing a transportation job. Uh, transportation jobs I'm back to doing. As for finding sheep and and other things right now, eh, not so much. Oh, I forgot to sell my blueprints. So yeah, I have some blueprints I need to sell. And I forgot to sell which would be my other category, which would be the shampoo and the lotion as well. And I need to be careful when I sell blueprints, make sure I have learned them all before I sell them. Because that would really suck. I thought about just buying furniture for the house today. It's like, you know what, I'm, I think I'm just going to go I, I keep telling myself I want to wait, so I think I'm going to try to. Because don't my luck, I'll buy furniture, um, get the house looking all good, and that's when tier 3 blueprints will 
we'll hit the market and I'll be like, oh, well, I should just wait another week. As long as we can do the house a little bit better before the wife shows up in a way. <laughs> That's all we really want to do. But here, yeah, in our, in our little lumberjack dynasty, let's play here. Yeah, we pretty much got it made now. Now we got the Cobra. Um, and we got the furniture factory. Uh, we've already paid off our uncle. Yeah, we, we pretty much got it made. Pretty much got it made. It's all... We're like a kidney candy store now. Everything is just... It's real easy to come by. Now, I met, in the last episode, I mentioned about the bison. And some people told me about the bison. Like, oh, it's not really... It's not really worth it, the logging trailer you got right now. A lot of people have gone back to that because of the issues they're having with the bison. Some have said the bison doesn't hold as much. Other people are saying, yes, it does hold more. Uh, but it is a little bit of a pain to get the logs, the first set of logs in. I guess once you get the first set of logs in, just like the logging trailer, um, going up and down hills can be problems. Problems? Pro it's an issue. There we go. That's the word I want to use. It's an issue. Uh, if you're on a steep hill, but you have the same problem in the logging trail. If you're on a steep hill and the logs don't get the trailer just right, they can fall out afterwards. Nope, oh, come on. There we go. Nope. There we go. Yeah, I really can't see where the property boundary is at all. Kind of sucks. I mean, I could, I mean, I guess get the map out and see roughly where I am. I'll tell you one thing, though. It definitely looks really weird when you go to a forest area and this, as we call here in the States, at least where I'm from, uh, we would call this clear cutting because you basically, you're, you're just cutting everything. Let's see, is this tree in my property? Uh, we'll know if it isn't because uh, <laughs> we'll see some we'll see some red flashing numbers on the screen. I think. I'm going to say the property boundary is along these dirt roads here, so I'm going to assume this tree is in our area. Uh, okay, I just cut a tree. Yep, so it is uh, 1,200 euros. Your, uh, your social status has decreased. I did not see how many social points I had. Uh, let's see. What, what I'm down to, like 1480? We can figure this out. Uh, 1480. Uh, my last save, because I did some jobs this morning. 14. Uh, 14. Wait, what was it at? What's it at now? <laughs> One, four, uh, 48, 174. So I lost 2,000 social points uh, cutting down a tree that was not on my property. Well, I'll get a little bit of cash from the logs anyways. I should be able to pick those up now, I think. I mean, I kind of wanted to do it anyways just to make sure, but yeah, it was 1,200. I thought I thought uh, red numbers came on the screen, but... Now I'm getting to be a little gun-shy here, Art, because I mean, that could get kind of expensive after a while. You know, let's take a screenshot me in there and the and the cobra. That's not a bad shot. Thinking of a title already to put on the thumbnail. Come on, where were you? You were there a second ago. There we go. So also keep in mind the treasure chest on the map. They respawn. Yeah, I keep reading it, then I keep forgetting the date, uh, how many days, but it's like 30 to 40 days, somewhere in there. So, every 30, 40 days, once you start uh, understanding where the, ma uh, the maps are, the treasure chests are, yeah, you can go around, so just like, it it's almost better than going around collecting herbs. So, if you think early on, like I started back in May when the game got released, yeah, we made a little bit more money from bringing the planks and the crates down to the mill. But nothing like it is now to make money. You could easily go around and collect a lot of a lot of cash. All right, I need to get out because I need to see where this po property boundary is. And chainsaw. All right, so that Burt Street can go. 
I got four more trees here. Birch tree can go. And then these three right here. Yeah, Peanut. Try not to walk across the logs that you piled up kind of nicely because you do that on purpose so the logging trailer can come around and pick them up. Come on, where are you? There we go. So just like that, what was this the one that had 19 trees on it and we're just about done with the 19 trees? Look how much easier it is. I was ready to say, wait a minute, you didn't debark the whole log there. And I said, I'm probably not going to get that. And if worse came to worse, let's have to get out with a chainsaw and uh, delimit. So this will definitely get us a lot closer to having some crates going to the dryer sometime soon. The question is, if I do dry them, do I want to wait for the tier 3 stuff to come out? Or do I want to make some furniture. I mean, the only furniture I would think I would make right now would be the puff chair because that's a good money maker. But man, I, I'm not looking forward to how many trips it's going to take me to the furniture store with it. But I think when I do it, I'm not in a really rush to get to the the bison. It's going to be nice just because, like I said, it, it, when we get trees cut like this, I can, you know, I, apparently the bison does drive a little bit faster than the, tr uh, the tractor with the trailer, as you would have probably expect. So yeah, you can get places a little bit quicker. It does hold more logs, I want to say it does. Um, I think more than half the people say yes, it does hold more logs, and a little bit less than half have said no, it doesn't. But at least that way I don't have to use a tractor to drive around, I can just, you know, I can hop from one vehicle to another. Oh, I did go and grab the stump grinder as well. Because the day before it rained and I was getting ready to do some transportation jobs. And then realized, no, it's going to rain. Alright, let me go ahead and cut these. I said cut these. Just to make it look a little bit better around here. Alright, so where is this? Oh, I'm outside of it right now. 25 trees in this general area. Oh, okay. Not that one. Oh, wait a minute. Where did I not buy this yet? I thought I bought this. Uh, no, you did not. Okay, that was a bad mistake. Uh, 4,000. Let's go ahead and buy that for 4,000. Kind of right back where we started the day. Actually, a little bit less than that. Uh, I probably would have been pretty close to the same if I did not cut down the wrong tree. All right, uh, now let's look at the chainsaw again. So are we all good? Where is this boundary line here? All right, so it does go up to the road. So I think everything in the road and around... I think we're clear if we just cut all the way around. Uh, okay, so no, 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 no. Don't go way down to the road. So that oak tree is a no-go. All right, I do see some uh, wonderful little herbs down here. And it's berry nail, which is important for us. Alright, so I have to remember... Okay, so pretty much up to where this road comes up. Along with that oak tree. And then follow that path all the way up and we should be okay. Yeah, that, that looks fine. Let's cut down some of this brush in here because... It's a mess. Well, a lot of brush in here. Making the forest a better place. Are we really? I'm not too sure. Oh, just brush everywhere. Remember the early days I was keep letting that brush stay there because we, I was not sure how the tree growth was going to happen. And then it came along I was like, okay, those bushes are not going to grow into fully grown trees apparently. Did not know. And now we know. So now we cut them. Give me the oak and the birch trees. I can see this tree is not really into the ground. So I hope when it comes time to grinding up the stumps on that, we don't have an issue. It's too bad I don't get uh, some wood chips from all these limbs that we're cutting on down. 
I think I said I was good to go right up to the road, right? So... And... Where is it? There we go. Actually, it's setting the arm. I need to start doing that a little bit more. Rather than trying to... Keep the saw... Uh, saw blade area... Kind of stable and move the vehicle around to get it up to the area where you need to cut. I think it's better actually just moving this around. Move the arm around, be easier. Because it doesn't seem to really matter where. It seems like the hitbox for the height of the tree, you can have the saw anywhere on the height of the tree, and it's fine. Yeah, but next time we'll have all these logs to bring up to the mill. And I think over here, the only place we can really drop off the log is right at the mill itself. I don't think there is a log drop-off point over here. But I want to say, I, you know, I don't really... I've been down here a lot to, to collect herbs, but I never really paid attention to what trees were here. But I decided to come on down here. First of all, I said, ah, we really don't come... You know, we got land now over on the west side. We got, of course, land in the south here. And we're starting to work our way north a little bit, but I was kind of waiting just to get the bison to go further north. I said, ah, let me start down here in this corner here see what kind of trees are here. So I was taking a dune buggy out and... Man, I saw birch and oak trees everywhere. I'm like, well, jackpot. Plus, I was also looking for land that was not too expensive. So basically, as we know, when my dryers are ready, now bring all those planks on down to the furniture store. Um, yeah, it's gonna be. We, we know we can make a whole bunch of cash for that. That's gonna be more than enough. To buy the bison and let's see would it be enough to buy anything else is there anything else i need right away not so much i mean i'll leave us some even some extra cash to buy some more land if i need to not enough to buy another tractor though i, I think i am going to buy another tractor all right because we're going to use the 134 one for a sump grinder and we'll have another tractor for the tree planter I think the tree planter will be for the 134, and I think it's the 90? The 90 will take care of the stump grinder. I think that's the way I want to do it. I may change my mind when it comes to it. So as we know, there were 25 trees when we started on this piece of property, and I don't know how many we've gone through in this short time, but... I remember try just trying to cut down six trees with... The chainsaw, and if you just cut down six trees, then go around and try to de de limb them, and then cutting up in the logs, it was a mess. This just makes cutting down the trees so much easier, which that's the whole point. You know, you're spending, well, at least for this machine, 192,000 for it. You hope it's easier. Now, the only thing we can't do is we cannot sell the land back. Now, I don't know if that's going to be, become a thing in the game or not. If we can sell the land back, I'm not really sure. Like I said, you got the cash at this point, so... Well, at least I do anyways. But once you have the furniture workshop, you've got the cash. Just the cash won't be a problem for you. This would be a spruce tree. And we're going to avoid bringing these on down until we get enough oak and birch into the mill itself. Just zipping right through these trees. This is what I was saying earlier. Like a couple episodes before we bought the Cobra, I said once we get the Cobra and we buy property, we're just going to zip right through these log, uh, these trees in no time flat. So I know we own some forests have like two to three hundred trees on them. If I just took a whole day and just cut trees, I, I could probably cut them all down in one day on that one lot. Give me all the oak and the birch trees. 
And this is the good thing. I can kind of leave this machine right here, and I can just teleport back to here anytime I want to come back and cut the trees down later. But I also gotta remember, we also gotta remember at some point though, we gotta go back and we gotta go do some work for Jack, is it? Because we are business, I mean, we're business partners with Jack in a way. Building up the little log cabins around here. And of course, eventually we'll have the quest for the town as well. Zip this ease on down here. Let's do a few more and then we're gonna head back up to Jack's store because I want to sell that lotion and shampoo. Just to get some of my money back. I mean I don't mind spending the cash, but I don't wanna I I like to see the money keep going up during the day as well. But I'm looking forward to the romance side of things. Um, can you can you cut? Oh, am I am, am I actually too high? I said it doesn't seem like there's a hitbox there. There we go. Maybe there is a certain height that you can't cut the tree at. It's too high. But yeah, once we get ourselves a wife and she can start doing some cooking for us, taking care of flowers around the house. I plan on doing the same way as I did Farmer's Dynasty to where I'll plant flowers around the house just to get a few social points here and there. That's about it. I do not plan to plant flowers just to sell them for a profit. Okay, is that the old tree? Hmm. Can't remember if that's the old tree or is the next oak tree up. One way to find out. Nope, not that oak tree. Alright, that's the oak tree. That's the one. So, how many more trees we got left? I'm down to seven. So, will we start with like 29? So, I cut down 22 trees on this property right here. Yeah, we're going to call that uh, good for today. I think uh, next time we'll come up here with the 134 and the logging trailer, grab some of these oaks and some of the birch trees and bring them on back. But that's where we are in the southeast corner of the map. So now we own property in the southeast. Of course, all around here in the south. Uh, do I want to call that the northwest? I think we'll just call that the west. Northwest we'll call up here. And we got one kind of in the center. I would like to buy some up here. But I think these are all spruce and pine as well. And you know what? We're going to go up to this place up here to sell. Teleport to our original, original tractor. Yeah, if I teleport up here... To, oh, no, she popped up. Hello, how are you? I'm doing just fine. Uh, do you care, care to, to trade? trade today? I know you do. So, um, what am I selling here? I need to go to other... And, yeah, the herbal skin. I know it's going to sell it all to Jack, but I think Jack has enough of this stuff. Uh, so, there is a thousand bucks. Thank you very much. And here is almost four thousand uh, dollars. Thank you very much. So this is where I got, this is the reason why I'm here. I think it's this place right here, right? Um, yeah, I'm selling my blueprints to her. She only has one blueprint. I thought I sold her two. Maybe not. So let me just click on the, oh, no. Uh, okay, just make sure. So as you can see, just where it says price, 239.59, right above it, it says this blueprint is already unlocked. So I can sell that one. This blueprint is already unlocked. Let's go ahead and sell that one. See, right here, I got this one. I did not know. Intermediate Furniture Wardrobes. It doesn't say it's unlocked. So let's not sell that to her just yet. Come in here. So this is how you unlock your blueprint. You got to come down here. It says use to unlock. Hey, I just unlocked a new blueprint. And Hello. then I can go back to how her. Are you? Uh, we just talked a few seconds ago. What's the matter with you? Trade? All right. Now if I go in and click on it, it says this blueprint is already unlocked. And I can sell it. The price is not dropped because I learned that price is the same. Let's go ahead and sell that. So, yeah, I'm, cut, I'm trying to sell my blueprints all in one spot. That way, if I goof up somehow, it's like, where have now? You know, how come I haven't learned that one yet? I don't know if we're going to get double blueprints. So, if you go, like, do a quest and say I go back and do the quest, am I, can I get the same blueprint twice? I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing or not. have no idea. 
Uh, but how are we doing? Oh, so I'm back up to 61,000, so I started with more. Uh, I mean, I'm ending with more than I started with. Let's go ahead and save this game here. We'll save up this location. Why not? There we go. So not too bad. Um, I cut down the wrong tree and got paid, you know, I had to pay a $1,200 fine, I guess is what it is. I lost 2,000, um, I almost said dynasty reputation. What was it? Social point? Yeah, social points. Medieval dynasty is what I'm thinking of there with dy uh, dynasty points. Uh, yes, yeah, so we lost 2,000 rep uh, dynasty rep, yeah, social points. <laughs> but yeah, the money did go up, uh, selling all those shampoos and some of the food. And we bought two pieces of property, and we got some uh, oaks and birch trees to bring on down. Some pine and some spruce as well, but that's for later on. Oops, I wanted to go, wanted to go back to the buggy. Jump on out. Uh, do I need really, do I really want to trim the lawn around here? I don't think so. I got the main lawn kind of done, so you guys should be kind of happy with that. Looks pretty decent around here. Um, let me come on down here because I, I didn't sell the pike for a reason. So I am saving some of this stuff. So like the pike, yeah, we're going to keep that because that might be crucial for cooking later on. Um, you know, let's go ahead and just move every, yeah, that's fine. Let me clear out everything that I'm not really using. I don't think there's any mice in the game, so I have to worry about that. Apple jam. We'll throw that into there. And that's the way we leave it. That way, get, that way I got plenty of space. When I start going around and finding treasure chests, I can just start throwing stuff in here. Because mostly, on the, like the tier 1s, it's mostly food. So this will fill my inventory quite a bit. Uh, so the tools, I don't have any duplicates of the tools, do I? No, I sold everything and other. These are all the herbs, my gardening tools, seeds, and... Uh, uh, seedlings for trees. So we're doing pretty good. I do like how the pantry is more filled out in here than it was, although it looks like I'm making some wine, or is that some potions? I have no idea. We'll keep the door closed because we have James the cat to take care of things for us right now. But not too bad, not too bad. We, we are working on some things here, hopefully in, a, in about, like I said, about four or five days. Uh, maybe next episode it will be time to bring the crates on down to the workshop and we can start making some of the pluff, puffy chairs or puffy oh the one thing I wanted to look at uh, yeah so yeah the puffy chairs which I was uh, just thinking of so yeah it's kind of unfortunate that they don't have like a drop off area like down in here so they could have like they could put a drop off area down in here I would think the logs could flow backwards compared to this way but maybe they're trying to get yeah, I don't, I'm not sure, but the nearest drop-off point is right is right at our lumber mill itself. So all the trees here have to go down to there. That's not too bad, though. It's not too bad. Maybe I'll leave all these logs here, and maybe next episode it will be bring the crates over to the workshop and start making those chairs. And we'll start saving up to buy the bison, and we'll use the bison to start picking up some of these logs instead of use, using our, using our logging trailer. But I'm kind of hoping sometime soon, um, you know, with another update. No, I don't know when another update's coming or anything like that. But yeah, hopefully we can start unlocking some of the things so we can fix some of the old equipment. That's why I've been saving it. Because I want to be able to fix the old equipment before I sell it. I don't see any use for this kind of stuff. Um, not at all. But, you know, I want to give that a shot when it comes out. Uh, that trailer there I will keep because that can, can, that can come in kind of handy, I would think. Yeah, 42%. Yeah, I do think the dryers are still drying at the same rate as they were before. I don't think they're drying 20% faster. That's just, you know, a couple people have said that, and I I think I'm noticing that myself. These will take 40 days completely, but some of these are already down to 89%, which is not bad. I know some people said, well, that's too slow. I want them to dry faster. You know, it's better than what we had. And really, um, 40 days to dry crates is really a lot faster than it is in real life. I think in real life it takes like three months. If you were just to let them air dry, I think it's three months, something like that. Somewhere around there. I am I really am hoping at some point, though, that the dryer um, has to take firewood. I would like to some way that we can make firewood and sell firewood. So, I mean, maybe just make like an area like right up here to where we can build our own uh, firewood area so you can grab like logs and have like a little I don't want to say a workshop or something plop down a workshop here there's space to do it there although some people may be storing their 
crates there like I was at some point. But um, maybe have somewhere else on a map that, you know, we have a firewood location to where we can take stumps or take logs and cut them up into tiny little stumps and to make firewood. And then, ha then have to deliver firewood to all the fireplaces around here. And also to keep your dryers uh, stoked for a full day or a week at a time or however you want, however they want to do it. It's just a thought, just an idea. But anyways, I've been rambling on long enough back here at the mill. I need to call it a day. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time right here in Lumberjacks Dynasty. But until then, have a good one.